and welcome once again fellow girls, guys and gaming fans. This is Small Archangel. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. And my icky pen has evolved a little bit as well to include a shark pen, given that we found last episode that the Mega would not fit in a teensy icky pen with Nimbus. There's a surprise, eh? It wouldn't fit through the dino gate. Now, I was planning on putting a behemoth gate in here uh, to protect the shark but in point of fact um, they're so massive I decided not to the behemoth gates are actually not only five tiles or five blocks wide which I could deal with they're ten tall which is pretty epic actually and I thought that would look really silly in this context we will use behemoth gates but we will use behemoth gates for sort of cordoning off our um, area hidden valley we'll put one of those in each of the entrance ways and we will do that soon but for now this is what our nifty little marina looks like and it is more like a marina now oh cobblers that is not what i meant to do hey ho it is quite difficult to park your dino uh the aerial ones at least i should have just walked her when i got off okay here we go so We've got the walkway. I've actually put fences either side laughably to stop me from doing exactly what I just did, but I, I leapt off my dinosaur. There's just no controlled way of getting off a terror, I find. You, they just, you just fly through the air. One of the greatest things about this location, actually, which is woo, right here, just in case you're wondering, just a little south of Hidden Valley, uh, one of the best locations here is there is a ton of uh, spawning rocks, that is to say, just the ones that lie around on the ground, and they respawn even without you having to log back in. Basically, you turn your back for a second, come back, and they're back there. This has proved very, very handy for constructing this, this monstrosity, uh, which has used a lot of stone, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, there's my Ichthy, happy as Larry, and then this is, this is my, my Mega, my uh, Megalodon, Siren, and uh, she doesn't actually have a gateway to protect her at the moment, and she appears to have a dead fish attached to her head. Well done, Mega, that's, that's, that's talent. I'm not quite sure how she's managed that. We've got one of these pillars here clipping through a little bit. Inevitably, I had to do this corner on pillars because it wouldn't flip in a uh, place that the, the ground isn't level enough. Uh, but as you can see, it kind of worked. They clipped through a tiny bit, but I did mostly manage to get it so that they didn't by building them from the bottom up and then uh, placing, uh, yeah, the first one the bottom, from the bottom to the top placing uh, the floor or the, rather, the ceiling on top of it and then placing another ceiling building from the ceiling down to the ground but then taking out the ceiling and taking out the top two pieces of uh, pillar which is wasteful I know but then when you build it back up again from the ground and replace the ceiling it doesn't clip or it doesn't clip too much as you can see so that sort of worked quite well. Um, Funnily enough, they're, uh, yeah, my, my fishies here don't seem to suffer too much from hunger because there's always something. The sealies can just get, get everywhere, and I assume she killed that one. I'm assuming it didn't just kind of randomly attach itself to her head and then die. And I've put a railing all the way around here as well, and a catwalk across here. Oh, uh, though I could very easily fall in, couldn't I? Just so that we can get from one side of this to the other. And again, there is an, a ladder here so that we can get up out of the mega pen as well. Okay, so that is the state of affairs. It all looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, I've had to repair up my scuba armor, my scuba gear a little bit because I kept getting attacked by stuff while I've been doing this. Um, and I'm hoping... I haven't, while I've been doing this, I haven't seen another shark, however, and I'm, so I'm hoping one won't spawn close enough to actually aggro on uh, on Siren, but uh, who knows, that might actually happen. But uh, she's levelling up, as you can see, she's levelled again, she's got absolute, t look at that, that is just crazy. That just goes to show exactly how many flipping things have come along and I've killed them, on the land as well as in the sea, and then just fed my fish and as you can see the meat is obviously from land animals okay so we're still feeding her some health but she's now level 17 i reckon by the time she gets to some higher levels she could probably take care of herself uh so we won't need to worry over much about uh about the open doorway there this pen should 
should help her a little bit anyway. It should protect her from all but sort of accidental aggro. At least that's my hope. Okay, and we should be able to get her out of here. Yeah, the goody good. The catwalk doesn't actually stop her from getting out. That's excellent. So what I'm actually wanting to do today, I'm wanting to do some exploration on my mega. Uh, we won. We need, I don't know, if, can I look at my map under here? No, because I'm hanging on to the shark. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to go into the frozen biome there. And I've said this before, but... I need really to get some silica pearls because we just don't have any at the moment and uh, we need them to be able to craft ourselves some some more lights. I want to make some omni lights, some omnidirectional lights. So what I'm going to experiment with is seeing if we can actually um, survive in this zone if we stay underwater. So obviously I, I, I don't think think I can stay underwater indefinitely. I know I've got a tank there, but I think I can still die with with the breathing apparatus on. I'm fairly sure that has happened to me a couple of times. So, uh, but it doesn't seem like we're freezing to death yet. We might not have made the frozen biome yet. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Because if we don't freeze to death when we're under the water, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good thing. Let's just see. You are freezing. There you go. Oh my gosh, what a bun fight. Let's get out of here. So we, we stay the right kind of temperature so long as... Oh crap. Two megas. Okay, I think invasive maneuvers are definitely called for here. This is where we find the other sharks. And yes, I think I would quite like another shark. But not really biting my ass. Okay, now the question is, are they still following me? The answer is yeah. Uh, yeah, they are. There they are. They're a bit dense, thankfully, so we don't have to worry too much. I don't know what level they are. I don't like having a kind of a hovering hood that tells me um, exactly what level all the dinos are. Gordon Bennett is murky down here. I don't think my... Uh, I don't think my scuba mask is very effective, to be honest with you. And her tail keeps getting in the way. Look at that. I'm flicking her tail across my vision. Ta-da! She's leveled again. Excellent. What a bit of swimming can do. Now, there's some... There are definitely some here, which I really want to be able to get. You are freezing. I'm still in the water. Okay, where did they go? You stay there, Mega. I don't want to die because you... Oh, crap, Ola. A raise! Rays are attacking her. What? Really? I set her to neutral, right? I did. I did set her to neutral. Why is she being attacked by a ray? Okay. We can't have this. We've got to attack the ray. We've got to kill the ray because otherwise it will damage her. It's a manta. And she's just eaten it, I think, probably. There we go. Lovely. Oi, doi, oi, oi, oi. Blooming heck, woman. Okay, enough, enough. Give her some more health. Right, there we go. So, I probably can't actually use that while I'm under the water. Right, so what I was going to do was gather some silica pearls. Only then it all kicked off and she got attacked by a ray. And I'm not quite sure why. Right, let's try this. There we go. There's one. Here's another. Maybe I should have her on follow. Hey, missus. Follow. It's probably a good idea, isn't it? If I stay under the water, we should be good. But that's interesting. I didn't know rays would attack her. They don't attack me, but they do attack her. I shall check and see if she's on. What are you on? Are you on neutral? I think she's on neutral. Yeah, I think she's on neutral, but they, it doesn't stop them from aggroing her, of course. Now, there's probably some more up there, but I'm not sure I want to stick my head above water because I'll probably freeze to death. Ah, there's one here, look. We'll have that too. There we go. There's quite a lot of trilies around. I like trilobites. I think they're really cute, so I don't want to hit them and get oil from them. Because uh, there are better ways of getting oil, especially around here. And we might get some, but again, I'll probably freeze my nethers off if I do, so not sure about that. Okay, well, so far we seem to be doing all right. I dread to say that because I know something's going to aggro on me any blooming second. But so far we seem not, whoops, so far we seem to attract another mega. Hello. Where's mine gone now? 
Oh, great. Oh, great. Where has she gone? Where has she gone? Seriously. Where is she? She's over there, fighting. Oh, crap. This is not good. Let's see if we can skew the odds in her favour. You're freezing. Yeah, I'll bet I am, but you know what? There's not like a do till I've killed this fish. Yo. Good one. Now, get me out of here. Are you beached, dear? Oh, my word. Looks like she's beached on... No wonder she wasn't following me. I didn't know they could be properly beached. There's a porpoise. It's an ichthy. And a shark! Oh, crap. There's another one. I'd tame it, but you know what? I can't. Oh, no, don't hit my own shark. I want to hit the yellow one, not the red one. Oh, no, I can't see what's going on. You stupid shark. Oh, my word. Now, I cannot see what the heck is going on. Can we get you out of here now? We can. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, now, before I die of cold... Wow, that was a little bit more exciting than I actually wanted it to be. I'm not even going to worry about getting the shark meat because, quite frankly, we've got enough. Hey, look. This is the first time I've seen one of these oil rocks. It's got to be done, hasn't it? I've got to, I've got to take some oil from that. Just don't get in the way, missus, or I'll be knocking you in the face. Wow. That's pretty good. I have no idea how many times I could hit it without destroying it. But I don't really... Oh, we've got some silica pearls. We've got a little bit of fish, actually. Best give it to her. There you go, missus. I don't know if she prefers fish or... Pre oh, look, a mega tooth. Oh, nice. I can make a trophy out of that. Awesome. We can decorate our home with that. Okay, let's go have a look. Is there any more oil rocks or something else exciting around here? I am loving this. This is giving me a whole new sort of whole new experience of the, the game world, really. There's probably a lot more sharks, right? And I have no idea how deep that goes. It's kind of scary because it's, yeah, because I can't see a blooming thing. And I don't know where we are because I can't actually see the map from here. So we'll just swim through here. I think we're going to have to give Siren a bit more, uh, a little bit more room for a little bit more um, stamina because uh, she ain't got much. Now, I could do with some more silica pearls because we're getting through them now. We are getting through the silica pearls. Uh-oh, there's a ray. That's probably going to aggro as well. Siren's health's not too bad, though. We'll just swim her out of there. She's not right fast. I think my ichthy's probably quicker. Okay, I think... Well, I can see a flaming... Is that a shark or is that an ichthy? That's an ichthy, look. Ah, oh, that's a shark! And that's a shark! And I can't move! Oh my god, I can't move! That was not good. For some reason, I was just stuck there. Why don't you go and pick on someone you're... Oh, you are. Hang on. <laughs> you are my size. Do you know what? When there's two of them, if there was one of them... Mm. Do you know what? We know where to come. When we're looking for what to tame, we know where to come, don't we? We'll be absolutely fine. But for now, I defecated. Yeah, do you know what? I would defecate under the circumstances. I w Why are you sticking your face through my shark? I know you're curious, but that's just taking... And there's two of you now. And that's why I can't move, because I'm being chased by these things. It's going to be quite easy to tame another one, isn't it? Let's see if we can pull one back to the base, because if we can do that... I'll tame another one. I'm going to get these guys to tame, to, to, to kite, I'm going to kite them back to our base. Because it's going to be dead easy to try and get one as a mate for, for, uh, yeah, they're still with us. We've actually got three, we've got a whole pod of dolphins now. This is really cool. I'm going to try kiting them back to our base because I really want one of them to be a, a, a mate for Nimbus. Okay, I lost, lost the dolphins and gained a couple of sharks, so that wasn't exactly ideal. 
So I had to outswim them and I've noticed that Siren definitely seems to prefer the fish to the meat uh, because that's what she's eating when I'm sprinting on her. She's definitely eating the fish and not the meat. So we'll, have, we'll know that that's... I'm sure she probably would eat meat, but it's going to be better if we feed her fish. So I shall bear that in mind. So we're coming back to base just because quit it while I'm ahead. Basically, there's a ton of Megas out there. It's an absolute ton. Uh, and there's a lot of dolphins as well, but it's going to be a bit difficult to tame a dolphin while we've got uh, a load of sharks after us, really. And as I say, I'd rather handle one shark at a time. And while I would really like to get uh, a mate for both Siren and uh, for Nimbus, uh, yeah, I guess it can kind of wait a little bit. Uh, we've got 123 silica pearls. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why that's that. Okay, I'm going to eat that before it spoils. I don't know why it came out of my inventory for some reason, but for some reason it did. So we're going to eat it pronto because I'm quite hungry by this point. And we've got, yeah, we've got a bit of oil, but not ever so much. But it's going to be easier for us now, I think, to get into the frozen biome and just stay under under the water to keep uh, to keep uh, our temperature regulated and we've got eight mega tooths that actually we can yeah this trophy proves your worth as a hunter well yeah we we had to kill about two of them or something so quite crazy really okay so after our forage the cold biome i'm still pretty hungry because uh we, yeah <laughs> basically haven't been able to uh I didn't have very much to eat with me and you can't eat when you're under the water anyway which kind of makes some sort of sense i suppose let's just check on our ichthy while we're here she's probably leveled as well yes she has i'm not quite sure why i just jumped on her back i didn't actually mean to um and she has leveled so we'll give her some more health and then i'm going to take the meat off her because like my mega she prefers fish so let's just head for the ladder here and we'll give the meat to our Terra. There she goes. She's got quite a bit anyway. Again, this is what I've been gathering from the animals that sort of tried to collect my hide while I was making this. But as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty cool actually. It's pretty nifty. I'm hoping that at some point uh, we get a gate that's somewhere in between um, a normal dino gate and a behemoth gate because having a gate that you could swim your mega through would be really good. I know they can fit through behemoth gates, at least I'm assuming they can given the size of them. But uh, yeah, the fact that they're 10 blocks high is just, it would be somewhere up, way up there and look completely ridiculous and as I say once she's leveled a bit I think Siren will be absolutely fine here I think I don't think sharks they don't spawn right here for start off they'd have to I'll just have to be careful they don't sort of follow me back um because you know that obviously she spawned here so that is something I do have to be a bit careful of and I'm hoping that I can get her leveled up fast enough that she's not going to end up um, yeah, she's not in, going to end up somebody else's dinner, basically. But if I can get her to a, I don't know, about level 30 or level 40, maybe something like that, she'll probably be, she'll probably out level most of the others around. Uh, and so uh, she should be safe then. But my Ichthy, she's the one who's a bit more vulnerable, of course, because she can't really defend herself. And she's, yes, you, she's uh, sort of nicely penned away, hopefully safe. So, so there you go. So that's my little marina, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, we're really not that far off the uh, snow biome as it now exists because, of course, it didn't used to be there. And obviously, we can pick up some silica pearls from there now. So all that remains, really, is for us to go back to base. There we go. And we'll head back to base and uh, then, as I say, um, before dark falls, hopefully, I want to set up a couple of Omni lights because the problem with the lights that are just the spotlights, which just shine in, uh, you know, sort of a straightforward direction, is that they don't light up very much at all. The light they shed really is extremely sort of limited. So let's just park my Pteranodon first. 
There we go. Up. Okay, so you can see I've got a generator here. And I actually placed one of these lights as well. But it's really not great there, actually. It's not unpowered. Of course it is. The generator's turned off. It's really not great, actually. So I'm going to demolish it just to take the um, resources from that. And we're going to make, we're going to see if we've got what it takes to make some more lights. Oh, an egg for me. How kind. All right, here we go. So we'll place our oil in there. We need lots of oil. We'll place, let's see, do we have, we have some metal ingots. Okay, a shark could obviously, and some electronics. Oh, right, that's from what I just scrapped. And some crystal, that's cool. And then we've got silica pearls as well. Right, okay, so let's see, what do we need? Structures, electrical, no, electric is what we want. Lamp post, omnidirectional lamp post. We need electronics and we have only one. Now I'm assuming in electronics, we got comp components, there we go. How many of those can we make? 41, so let's do it. We'll make some at least. Uh, and then once we've done that, we will make ourselves a couple of om omni, what are they? Omnidirectional lamp posts. Okay, we can craft three of those, so let's do it. There we go, three omnidirectional lamp posts. Now, what would be probably sensible would be to place one of these, I don't know, in each location where I really need them. This one faces directly in that direction, deliberately. I could probably do with, well, we can definitely do with one over here where I had placed the previous light. So we'll put one there to begin with. Seven. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it's only a small structure, but that's fine. I think I'll put it kind of here. Now that's so close to, there we go. That's so close to the generator. That's definitely going to... Oh, yeah, it's got three bulbs going in three different directions, which is ace. Um, and then we'll see when it gets dark. We'll see what direction that's going to sort of... How much light that's going to shed. Let's just... Okay, we need to turn it on. Whoa, that's... Oh, ah, that's really quite bright. Ouch. Okay, that's good, I suppose. Um, and we've got a spotlight there and we've got a spotlight over there. I suppose we could do worse than put one here, but probably the best thing to do is to place them where they're going to be most useful. Now, I've got a generator over there. We've got light. Maybe need one here. But maybe we'd be better off with an Omni one here in point of fact. So I'll just turn that off. Now, what I'd like to do is be able to, but I'm not going to be able to. So we will just demolish that and I will place an omnidirectional one here instead. There we go. Turn that on. And that's going to be more helpful, actually, because it will shed light in all directions, which means that I will be able to see the gate in the dark, which is what we want. And then the last one we've got, I don't know, maybe it should be here where this one is. Which again is a spotlight, but perhaps it should be an omnidirectional one. I don't like trashing stuff that I've already placed. It does seem a little bit, wor uh, a bit, uh, it does seem a little bit wasteful, but at the same time, I do think that There we go. I do think that this is going to be a better use of the resources. And I don't think it'll prove too difficult for us actually to get a hold of enough resources to light this place up like a Christmas tree. I've got three generators already. I just need to make sure that I keep enough gas going, uh, get, make enough gasoline to keep them all going. Okay, so in here we've got gasoline and we've got oil and hide and that's what we need to make gasoline with. So we'll just replenish the supply of oil in there. Oil might well need to be the next thing. Yeah, it looks like oil might need to be the next thing that we need to get um, from the frozen, frozen area. There we go, that's better. Um, 
Although we're a little bit low on metal as well. I don't know. I might have some stashed away in here, possibly. I do stash it there. There we go. I do stash it there um, when there isn't enough room in the forge for it. And then I've got some stuff to put back in here, which we just salvaged from destroying those two lights. We don't get very much back from them. And I will just eat that. Now let's see, how do we make a trophy? I'm not sure I've even learned the recipe. Let's just see. I don't think I have. Let's just see if there is an Engram trophy wall mount. We can place the trophy on a wall mount or we can place one on a base. So that one's going to be a wooden one and that one's going to be a freestanding one but with a metal base based by the look of it. Okay, let's see if we can have, we can learn a wall mounted one. Um, <clears throat> and then let's see how we make that. Well, funnily enough, we need wooden cementing paste. So let's go to the smithy where we've got both of those things. Thanks to our friends, the beavers. We're never short, short of cementing paste. But we are going to need a full stack of wood, I think. Let's see. Was it a full stack? It was certainly a lot of wood. 200 wood. Uh, right. I haven't got enough wood and I haven't got enough cementing paste either. Crazy. Okay, here we go. Let's make that. So it's a fairly expensive item to make, but I can sort of understand that because it's... It's kind of... Uh, kind of a luxury item. All right, so last thing we do this episode then we're gonna see if we can find look at this it's so dark our actual house is really really dark we're gonna see if we can find somewhere in our great hall here let me put my lanterns on because we haven't got any lights that we can actually electric lights that we can make woo for in here just yet so let's do that there we go and let's see if we've got somewhere where we can place this trophy. I'm thinking over the fire is going to be an excellent place, actually, if we can do that. Let me just do this so we can properly see what we're doing. I've got that. I've got these. We can't place in our inventory. That's okay. I am assuming that when we... Oh, look at that. It's really quite large. I'm assuming... There we go. That we can... Yeah, access inventory. Let's see. Can I not put that in there? Add a trophy. Okay, how do we actually turn that into a trophy? I am not sure, but we're going to find out. For the next episode, we are going to find out how we can turn that into a trophy and what other trophies are available. And, you know, we can obviously change that about. We can actually put whatever trophy we want above our fireplace there, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to sit here and admire it. It's kind of a shame in some ways that it's so warm around here because that means that I never really need the open fire, although it does look really cool. But unfortunately, it's a bit too warm for it. So I should probably think about getting some food in myself. Always do forget to eat in this game. And it's kind of a shame I don't have some tried mates because uh, look at the size of this table. <laughs> I could feed the 5,000 with my farm and all the meat my dinos and I kill as well. So, uh, yeah. And we've got a veritable army of dinosaurs at this point. So, very pleased with the progress. And I do, I do really enjoy playing this game. It's a tough one to start, but once you get going, uh, it's not so bad. Okay, guys, so once again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know how to let me know. Hit the like button. Feel free to leave any comments, hints, or suggestions. And I hope I'll see you in future episodes. Until then, keep gaming, keep surviving, stay happy. Bye-bye for now.